Hi guys, welcome to this video and the problem we want to look at today is how can we check if the settings we have done on the domain registrar, registrar uh, are correct, uh, correctly pointing to the hosting company. So sometimes you do both uh, on the same uh, platform or with the same company let's say here we have to sample Shopify and Shopify is providing both uh, things I mean the hosting and the the, the uh, domain registering they are providing both services on their site but sometimes uh, there are pages where you don't have both um, services sometimes maybe you want to uh, maybe sometimes you have your hosting uh, company and there you have all your websites and then you have to point from your register to your hosting uh, company or there are other companies where you can't do that i mean let's say if shopify doesn't provide this and uh, there are also other reasons uh, I for myself I prefer having this done by two different companies because then you are independent uh, I will do another video about that I had my really really bad bad experience about that so I have decided for my lifetime I whenever it is possible I don't want to have uh, these things together uh, like hosting and the registrar uh, these things uh, I will never uh, if it's ever possible I don't want to have this at the same place because they really can uh, like uh, yeah they, they you, you're caught you're locked in sometimes and it's sometimes diffi di very difficult to get out. So, okay, how can you check if your settings are correct? Because sometimes it can be really difficult. So I have this sample here from Shopify and here on this website, it's a support site, you have the settings uh, which you have to use. So here down, there are some things. I think we got the uh, DNS, and but they say actually uh, we have to enter two things we have to make an a record and we have to enter a c name record so i remember that in the early times i had only to deal with the uh, dns and that was super easy and always worked and now maybe that's a new thing i i, I have no idea that's the first time uh, when, when I have to deal with such complicated things like a record and C name and yeah you have some explanation I mean some samples for famous registrars like GoDaddy you click on that and they tell you w how the menus will look and where you have to enter these and how it could look here probably down there I already missed that uh don't see it i think i have seen it with an other uh company a little bit easier um yeah here you see a records c name records uh sometimes it can be a little bit confusing i've tried to do this on my own on uh united domains unfortunately there's no uh sample here uh, in Shopify about the United Domains and so I just went there and tried to enter that and of course it failed I mean the, on, Shop on Shopify <laughs> there's a connection module where you can check if it's working and it always said no it's not working sometimes I was not really believing or trusting this communication module anymore because I have double and triple checked on United Domains and I've already been talking 
or uh, to the support of United Domains and, and I got help from them and they double and triple checked and said uh, they that they did everything right they were 100 percent uh, sure that they did everything right and the communication module of Shopify still said that it's not okay but the strange thing is that the shop my shop name when I called it uh, it was saying something for uh, of Shopify at the top so I was suspecting that the um, the, uh, the entries on United Domain where my which is my registrar were correct so it was like back and forth many many times and it was super annoying disappointing and uh, there was nothing going on and so at the end the good thing is that United Domains um, yeah I mean <laughs> what I can tell you it turned out you might United Domains were right the problem was on the Shopify side but we had a hard time to uh, to tell them that it's really correct because they always said the the uh, thing is wrong on United Domain and United Domain uh, one guy from the support told me how we can check that the settings are really correct and th this is what I'm going to show you now so here we are at this tool site from Google obviously it's uh, called toolbox.googleapps.com apps dig it's the function is called dig there are uh, different tools here on the site and the one we are using now is the dig maybe it's it's, it's also interesting what other tools they have you can check it out I don't know I have no knowledge about that but the thing is they told me I can enter any URL and check where it is pointed at the moment so I uh, try to implement this for my customer that's the website and you don't have you don't even have to enter that you just write a name you don't have to enter or click or something and that will resolve the name immediately I mean almost immediately and you can see the A record is uh, pointing to shops my shopify.com which is absolutely correct and also the C name when we click on the C name uh, there's also pointing on Shopify I don't know why the other um, things are also working because I haven't I have not been entering these things but maybe just for fun you can look into that I don't know what they really mean uh, I have absolutely no idea what this means but for me it was important the A record because they said they need an A record and they need, need the C name and these two things uh, I was able to prove that they are pointing to my Shopify and the problem was then on my Shopify and not on United Domains anymore what you also can do I mean just for fun you can uh, do this for any website it doesn't have to do do be your website you can do this for cnn.com and you will see uh, where it is hosted like uh, Turner I think that's a media company something like that you can do this for every site really the only strange thing is that you cannot just copy the URL and paste it here this won't work all the time because it has to have a proper uh, formatting like www dot and then the name so I picked another shop from Shopify just a random shop which I have found and here you can see it's uh, yeah it's also pointing to Shopify but uh, it looks like there's no real referral here I'm not sure about that yeah so I'm, I'm not telling <laughs> you any anything but uh, anyway uh, yeah you can see that it's working actually for every site I haven't found any site where it's not working but you have to use proper formatting like this and then you see where the page is hosted I have also um, been going then sometimes it's interesting you can take this 
and go even further and you uh, somehow it goes even further so it looks like it's ending here for other pages I have been able to do this about three or four times and I ended on a totally other websites so there's a hosting within the hosting within the hosting I mean that's yeah I, I don't know it's it's strange uh, I don't have enough knowledge about that but if you have to deal with a records C records or C name records other records uh, which you have to uh, maintain on your uh, web, web page where you have bought your URL uh, the, like the on the registrar then then you it's a good tool to double check if you have set up these things correctly so I think uh, 10 minutes is enough about this topic and I ho just hope that I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time